Hi everybody, it's Linda. I am back with a flip through of my latest journal and it is one I've been wanting to make for quite a while. It is a Reader's Digest, made from a Reader's Digest cover and it has an Edith Holden theme. So I'm gonna show you, it's something I've never used before and it's an actual journal cover topper that is this piece right here and it includes the closure and I'm going to show you here how it removes. I did not glue it on. It could be glued onto the front but I didn't want to do that. I figured I would let whoever it receives this journal do that if they would like to but you can see that even the inside of this journal topper is made from a book uh, the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. And it is a nice, thick, heavy, multi-layered cardstock with some collage elements and some little covered Edith Holden buttons and lace and a hitch closure. And then it's got, um, I actually changed this. It had black elastic thread or not thread, but a black uh, elastic cording, and I changed it to off-white so it would blend in a little bit more. And then it wraps around and just hooks onto this hitching post. Um, and then there's a little knot here. I don't think I connected that correctly. But it is also, um, it can be adjusted so that if it gets, if the journal becomes wider, it the knot can be adjusted so that the closure will fit no matter what. So I thought that was um, just a really neat feature. And actually this journal topper I got from an Etsy shop called Sandy's Craft Market. I did not make the journal topper myself. And then I did cover the spine with some pretty fleur-de-lis fabric, and then this is what the original cover of the Reader's Digest book looked like, which is really, it was really a pretty one. Okay, and then I, I added lots of pretty fun um, beads and dangles and charms to the signature ties, which we'll see as we flip through each one. So let me get centered here and let's get inside of the journal and take a look. It has three signatures and each signature has about 24 pages. So that's a, I don't know, I'll put the, the total number of pages in the description box because God, you know, I'm not very good at doing math on the spot. So in this Front pocket is a little uh, handmade envelope made from some uh, Japanese gift wrap paper, and it's got a letter from me inside. And I made a fabric pocket in the front with the same fabric that I used to cover the um, cover the spine with, and. You can see the front cover here without the topper. So as I said, you can glue it down so that it doesn't remove or you can, it can be removable as well. Okay, so I used some Edith Holden scrapbook paper. It's, it's from a book that I got on Amazon and they are papers that um, you can use in paper crafting project. And then there are also some original Edith Holden pages, book pages in here as well. Okay, vintage music, some coffee dyed paper. This is a digital that I wanna show you because I know I talk about my sister quite a lot. My sister also does a lot of paper crafting and she made a couple of master boards that I used in this journal and they are also in her Etsy shop. My sister has an Etsy shop and the name of it is South City 
Hughes, all one word, and I'll put that in the description box. But if you like this, uh, there's another one as well, and I'll show you that one. Actually, I'll go ahead and show it to you. This is a copy of the other one, and unfortunately, the actual digitals are much more vibrant than this. This it didn't copy well onto this paper, but um, and this is the original, her original uh, collage. So South City Hughes, if you're interested in either of those digitals. Okay, so then in this pocket is a handmade tag with a, uh, some Tim Holtz people there. Okay. And a fabric flip. This is a Kathy Holden fabric, and I'm not sure what this little fabric, where this little fabric piece originated. But here is a uh, paper bag with a fabric ruffle. And then inside is a uh, little Edith Holden inspired journaling card. This is actually a little Kathy Holden um, die cut, I believe. Okay. And... A uh, little decorative cluster there, some children's ledger. This is a piece, each of the signatures has a piece of the Japanese gift wrap that I thought really matched well with the colors and the overall botanical theme. Some vintage map, avocado dyed paper. Okay, so this is an actual page from uh, an Edith Holden book. An original page and then inside of here well that didn't belong I want to show you the these are the beads that I used for this signature I tried to kind of match the beads that I use with the colors of that Edith Holden center page Lots of journaling room, lots of blank spaces. I tried not to over-decorate to leave quite a lot for the recipient of the journal to add and to do. This is a piece of actual seed paper that you can plant under the soil and water and wildflowers will grow. This is a little snippet from my sister's um, master board copy. And this is pretty, this is a Super Simples from Pink Monarch Prints. And uh, she has Super Simples, lots of them. And what they are are printable, multi-pocket page with the ephemera digitals. And this was Super Simples too, I believe. So in this first pocket are just some pretty little ephemera pieces. In the second pocket here, is a little flip tag with a little tag here. And some writing space on the back. And then in this top pocket are a couple of couple more ephemera pieces. This one I sewed around. I sewed around um, several of these pieces here. Just really pretty and very versatile ephemera pieces here, the super simples. And then tucked into the side is yet another piece that is a file folder and a pocket. And tucked in the pocket, oh, it's a little, <laughs> a little scrap. I just put a coffee dyed index card in there for journaling, but it's got also a little dangle on this eyelet here. And this pretty Edwardian kind of lady there. And it just goes right in, tucks right in here. There we go. Okay. And then this is the back page of the signature, which is the Edith Holden page and this is the first page of the second Edith Holden or the second signature and these are those reproduction from the book uh, that I got on Amazon that I will credit in the description box because they are still available okay 
Okay, and then this is another tag that I made, Edith Holden inspired with a page from that Amazon scrapbooking booklet. And this is an over the page junk mail envelope that I used. It created a tuck on this side. And then on this side, it is um, the window. And I put another handmade Edith Holden style tag. And this is actually an envelope from the St. Louis Art Museum. So they always have the prettiest mailings and I love to save their envelopes and use them in my junk journals. And this is another page from the um, gift wrap book. And I created a pocket out of it and just tucked this recipe, vintage recipe card in there. It's a page from a, a vintage gardening book. And this is a digital from the Garden Digital from, it's called Garden Mail Digital Kit from Junk Journal Mama. And then here is the center of the second signature, which is another original Edith Holden book page. And these are the, um, the bead, these are the beads that I used and a wooden button for the signature ties. And then this is, there's just little bits of the uh, little scrap bits that keep making their way into the journal pages. They're photobombing our, our flip through here. This is another page from that beautiful um, Garden Mail Digital and a little journal card that I created. This is a little over the page. I'm going to pull this out so you can see. So on this side, it's like a fabric tuck. And on this side, there's some fabric and some, um, like a uh, paper tuck with some little collage made from magazine pages and bits of fiber. So this tucks in here on this side. And then here, this is a, a card that I made a long time ago and I thought I would use it tucked in here as a journaling spot. This is the, pay, the vintage gardening book page. This is the page, uh, the backside of the uh, Japanese gift wrap and I didn't glue this together in some of the signatures, I glued it together. In one of this, the one you just saw, I made a pocket out of it. This one, I left it like it is so that you can either journal on it, you can decorate it, you can glue it together and make one page out of it. You can make a pocket. I thought I would leave that up to you. And then this is a little pocket that I received. It's made out of um, acetate or really more of a... Um, hmm. Not really a, an acetate, but more of a plastic that was sewn with this little strip of fabric on it. I received this in an Etsy order, and I thought it, would, it worked perfectly in this journal as a pocket, and then this little journaling card inside of it here. And then this is kind of a fibery, it's not really tissue paper, it's more of a little fiber that I thought looked really pretty in there. And then the Edith Holden um, scrapbook paper. This is in between the second and the third signature. And here is a little pocket with a little vintage tally in there. A belly band that I made from some vintage lace with vintage yo-yo and buttons and this note card journaling card I'm sorry my sister made this for me I just love it and this is my sister's digital 
My sister's name is Susie, and her, the, her shop's name is South City Hughes. And I love this. I just am now noticing this, 5609. And our childhood home, our house number was 5609. And I wonder if she pieced that together from a stamp or if she actually had a stamp that was 5609. I'm going to have to ask her because that really makes me smile. And then here's a uh, painted bag. And inside is another little journal card with some Tim Holtz people on it. A little wooden button and some lace trim on here. A vintage ledger. This is the, the gift wrap. This is a fun metal die cut gate that I made into a pocket with this tag tucked inside and some fun sorry silk topper. I thought the colors look really pretty there. And then this is the original Edith Holden book page for the third signature. And this is what I attached to the signature ties on this one. A little charm and some pretty beads. Hopefully you're getting a decent view of that. Lots of journaling space again. It's a lot you can do with this journal. This is a pretty, um, just a little fabric element decorating this bag and the tea bag that I like to include in all of my journals. This is some rose tea. And this is my sister's digital. This is a, a fun page. Um, it's a little short page, so I just attached this little envelope here. There's some little pieces of ephemera in there, a little Tim Holtz butterfly and a little faux posted, large faux postage stamp. And this tag here, which actually opens up for journaling. And it kind of coordinates with this page here that has a two-way pocket. There's nothing in the back. I put this one in the front and it is also, also uh, opens up for journaling here. Okay, hopefully I'm staying in frame here. And this is another pocket and these are some painty tags that I made from, um, I had done a, an acrylic paint mixed media project and I had a bunch of paint left at the end and I just mopped up, used some tags to kind of mop that up and I just absolutely love the color effect that it, that it created. So this is a two-way, this is a tuck and a pocket. And I just have this tag kind of tucked off to the side there. And I love all the colors. And that is at the, this is the end. And this is uh, another little journaling card tucked into the back pocket, the back fabric pocket. And the back of the book. And as I said, this just, this journal topper is also the closure. So this is my Reader's Vintage Reader's Digest Edith Holden Inspired Journal. If you're seeing this, that means this is currently listed in my Etsy shop, Joyful Makes and Finds, if you're interested in finding out more about this journal, you can head on over there. I have some more little cutie journals in the works, and I also have two little golden book journals that are going to follow that. And I'm doing um, another little golden book, Frida Kahlo, and also another little golden book, Raggedy Ann. Those were two of my most popular journals, so I thought I would, and I still have lots of goodies for those journals. So I thought I would make a couple more. So those are the things that are coming down the pike. 
and um, thank you for taking the time to watch. Please like this video if you enjoyed watching the flip through. The likes really help, and I welcome any new subscribers to my channel. I appreciate you so much. Have a wonderful day. It's Mother's Day, so have a happy Mother's Day, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.